Hi everybody, it is December 9, 2018. I hope those in the uh, winter storm states are okay. Uh, clearly I didn't lose power and I have to tell you the reporting on these storms. I am not saying that there are not areas that got hit hard, but they were talking uh, this thing was going to be paralyzing so many states and that did not happen. I want to pass along this information that was passed along to me um, by a subscriber who I want to thank, EMF Health Summit. I'm posting this now because you can watch these talks free until 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow morning. I'm sorry I didn't post this earlier, but they will have until the 15th, I believe. Let me pause you for a sec. Yes, it is a health summit, an electromagnetic frequency health summit from today until the 15th, and they will have all the experts there, 34 of the world's leading experts on these electromagnetic frequencies, talking about not just your health, but your animal's health as well. So the talks today that are free until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, uh, David, David or Dave Stetzer, power expert, how to protect your family from the shocking cancer risk found in most homes. Um, R.M. Miller, Healthy Homes, Simple Steps to Keep Your Family Safe. And Trudy Scott on electromagnetic frequencies and mental health issues. Marlene Siegel, How Electromagnetic Frequencies Are Killing the Animals We Love. And Frank Clegg who is an ex-CEO of Microsoft Canada, um, industry cover-up of cancer, DNA, damage, and infertility. Important. And I will say that the number one, number one thing to do is reduce your exposure. Reduce your exposure, which means that you you should be using your cell phone for emergencies only. Getting rid of Wi-Fi and getting an Ethernet uh, cable that hardwires your access to the Internet. The smart meter, wherever that smart meter is in your home or outside your home, on the internal wall where the smart meter is, put up aluminum screening uh, and put up like two, three, four um, sheets of aluminum screening, like at least a one and a half, maybe two foot perimeter that will reduce the pulsating frequencies coming in to your home. Um, and all of these electromagnetic gadgets, you know, that we don't need, we shouldn't be using. All right, so um, that, number one, reduce exposure. Number one, reduce exposure. Number two, reduce exposure. And number three, reduce exposure. And hell, if you have the means to get yourself out of an area that has a high concentration of cell towers and Gwen towers in your area, then move, move somewhere. The cumulative effects of these frequencies on our uh, physical health, our emotional well-being, our mental state, our psyche, our cognition, the cumulative effects are very, very, very serious. So this was happening in South Carolina today, and I want to thank uh, my subscriber for sending this along because I would not have, I would not have um, caught this because today I have to tell you I was really and still am just not okay. 
I usually describe my tinnitus as buzzing, and the buzzing has gotten louder over the years. Today, whatever the hell they were doing with this storm, I, I still hear an extremely loud, high-pitched hissing sound. This was South Carolina today. Look at the straight edge storm here in Oregon, Washington. The frequency is going. How are you guys feeling in Southern California and Texas and, and the states with this storm? Because they were using an awful lot of frequencies. to create and to steer this storm. But this was South Carolina. And boy, I, I'm just not right. I'm not right anymore. The entire state, these very powerful microwaves were being emitted into the state of South Carolina. How are you guys feeling today in South Carolina? So, um, I have to pause you. <laughs> yeah, the cats, the cats have been bonkers, really. Um, <laughs> well, again, I just want to say that I really hope that everybody's doing okay. And yeah, there were a lot of power outages. In fact, I want to show you this site. This is a national power outage site. You might want to bookmark this. Um, no outage event, which is pretty surprising to me because I've gone to state power outage maps and I see these isolated pockets all the time whenever I go um, throughout the country where power outages are occurring. So, no outage events all over the country. California has a minor, and Virginia, South Carolina, and North Carolina, major outage events. Well, they were claiming 500,000 people were without power, I think, in South Carolina and North Carolina alone. But I have to say, South Carolina, you click on the state, and it'll bring you up to, the, um, to that particular state, and the different colors... Uh, the red, 60%, and this goldish color, 10%, orange, 30%. Well, I'm surprised, considering the forecasting, considering what they were saying about this storm, that Greenville, Greenville, which is north of me, and I think the Spartanburg area, they did get quite a lot of snow, um, Wherever the Piedmont Triad uh, is, Piedmont Triad, I think, got a foot of snow. Um, so, I, I don't know. Uh, it, you know, Saluda, North Carolina. The mountain areas of North Carolina got a foot of snow. And is that... Is that normal? But I also, uh, the same subscriber who sent me that information on the EMF summit sent me pictures with a ruler on her back porch and she got 13 and a half inches and that was earlier today so it might have been even more and she was just outside Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, a lot of snow a lot of slush. What we got here, uh, maybe an eighth of an inch, but it was very slushy. A little bit of wind last night. Rain that seemed to go throughout the entire weekend. And that's it. But now they're claiming that the temperatures are really going to be frigid. No more rain, no more precipitation, but frigid temperatures here in South Carolina and North Carolina. Um, so the I have to say, to have an outage of uh, approximately 58,500, 
in South Carolina, considering what mainstream media was saying about this storm, that's pretty good. North Carolina, North Carolina so far has been hit the hardest. I hope that my subscribers, certainly those in this area of North Carolina, like Polk County, um, 45% are without power and Transylvania County 32 and a half percent without power I know some of you guys are in this area so I really hope that your power goes back on really soon really soon but when you click on the green you know six points um, six and a quarter percent three thousand and three hundred and sixty two customers are without power in Rockingham you can check out the site if you want but I do hope that everybody was safe and if you don't have power I hope it comes back on soon because I have to tell you it is cold interesting that it's warmer tonight than it was during the day quick look at in telecast I saw another scalar square um, popping up and um, let's see if it's still there yeah the frequencies are still going through this so obviously man-made it's pathetic hmm well it was right in this area like right uh, s South Virginia right over the border of North Carolina sorry so I'm also concerned about well, look at all of these microwaves <laughs> Jesus all right uh, the New Bern area um, this little isolated pocket of precipitation here that is obviously uh, generated by man I tried to find information about New Bern New Bern was uh, devastated by that hurricane over the summer are they flooding out New Bern again because they love to hit areas repeatedly but they want to get rid of everybody on the coast so they do hit the coastal areas repeatedly um, but that's it you know so we were told that this was going to be a slow moving storm it was pretty fast uh, look everything that we're told by mainstream media is deliberate the hurricane willa that hurricane that originated off the coast of Mexico and the hurricane that was going to be traveling through a desert in Mexico and then on up to Arizona and was going to cause misery for the entire United States nothing happened nothing happened all of these storms now we have very dramatic reporting and then and again listen to me if you are one of them who have, has experienced your area getting hit hard please don't personalize what I am saying I'm talking generally um, Oklahoma had downgraded their the, the forecast yesterday nothing happened got a comment from somebody in Missouri nothing happened um, there were three deaths in South Carolina three men in a home with a generator and they died of carbon monoxide poisoning I think one tree fell on a woman in Georgia um, but mostly what you've heard is travel really bad because all of what has hit now the surface 
the ground is very slippery. Well, if we didn't have the dumping of aerosols, the chemicals, the heavy metal particulates, if we didn't have that in the precipitation that falls on the ground, it wouldn't be so slippery. So apparently North Carolina had 500 accidents. I don't even know if what I'm reading from mainstream media is true. So that's why I want to hear from you guys. Um, you know, in terms of what has been happening. All right, guys, I will link below to everything. Um, don't forget. Here, you can watch these talks for free until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. And you will find the link below. Ciao, guys.